Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I am going to tell you something that is so hypocritical from what I'm trying to get you to do in the first place. This is going to this is going to blow your mind and it's going to cause a lot of a lot of hate and that's fine. A lot of people, especially here on the tubes, are going to have a problem with this. But first, hey, when are your mom's sodomy price for poetry? 20 days left. By the time you see this, it'll probably be 18 days left. Right now, even though it says one thing, it's actually five backers at $305. So, we are at like 15% funding. And we need to get that number up. So, if you haven't yet gone to igg.me slash at slash your mom, Go do that and see all of the wonderful, amazing options you have to play with your mom. All right, let's get into this. I believe that you all who are creators, who are writers, who are artists, I think that you need to read less. And I know this sounds counterintuitive to everything you've ever learned, everything you've ever heard. But seriously, read less. Now, when I say read less, I'm not saying read less so you can watch TV or read less so you can jerk to some stuff, you know. I'm saying read less so you can create more, all right? Now, a lot of people I've talked to over the years have said and alice allen um not to throw her under the bus here but she said something kind of similar too like before she was very wide read not not her stuff widely read but herself okay before she considered herself as a widely read person she thought her writing was amazing she thought her shit was great, okay? A lot of people do. A lot of people, when they do not have tons of things to constantly compare themselves to, think that they are amazing, okay? So you end up reading a bunch of stuff because you're told you're supposed to. Read the greats, read the classics, the whole thing. You do all this stuff, and then what does that do to you? Most of you, it will tell you things like, don't quit your day job. Or it'll tell you things like, you're just not quite there. Or it'll tell you things like, you're close, but you're not ready. Okay? But at the same time, a lot of you would be able to think of people, books you've read, where you were like, how the hell did this thing ever get published? How the hell does anyone read this stuff and like it some of you might think that about my stuff like how the hell does this guy sell any books okay and i think a lot of it has to do with confidence confidence in yourself knowing that your stuff is amazing and it seems to me through most of the people that i've talked to a lot of people do every once in a while have this glimmer of greatness okay and it usually always disappears. And that disappearing act is usually correlated to you reading a lot of stuff. So my advice to all of you is to read less and write more. And I don't know if you guys ever watched this show, but it's funny because it was supposed to be a joke. But there was this show um, way back when called Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. And um, Garth Marenghi was kind of like a satirical stab at like Stephen King or Dean Koontz or whatever. And um, he's this horror author who uh, ended up making a TV show that was so crazy at the time that the networks refused to show it for fear that it would drive people crazy. And so it'll have these episodes of this show that was supposedly made in the 80s. And then it'll have like talking heads of the people involved in it present day 
talking, like, looking back at this, whatever. But Garth Marenghi, the character, is like, you know, I'm one of the few people who have written more books than I've read. And, like, that was, like, always the funniest joke. And I, I would always go, oh, yeah, I've totally written more books than I've read. I've made more movies than I've watched. And, and the whole thing, right? And there's a part of that that's like, well, yeah, but it's not very good. But, but it is good. It has an audience. You know what I'm saying? And I know it's a satirical stab. And it's supposed to make you go, ha, <laughs> ha. What a dork. But the whole reason why we sit there and go, what a dork, is because we've been told that you have to read the classics. You have to keep reading and reading and reading in order for you to be good enough to actually write something meaningful. It's all bullshit. You could never read another book the rest of your life and you will be able to create amazing work. Because you are an amazing person who has an amazing mind who can tell amazing stories if you give yourself the chance to do it and if you believe enough in what you do to let others see how amazing it is you know and i always go back to this whole thing like in shakespeare's day shakespeare was not considered a great he was considered a hack and i know some people have argued that and whatever none of us were there whatever maybe it's all bullshit maybe shakespeare never existed okay who fucking knows at the end of the day it doesn't fucking matter at all okay so do what you do do not compare yourself to others and do not read a bunch of stuff with the idea that by you reading that you're going to catch some ray of light that you wouldn't normally be able to do. It's all fucking bullshit. It's all stupid. It's all crap. You know how to do it. You know how to tell a story. You know how to sell an emotion. And if you think your shit is good, the excitement that you fucking shit out all over the world on everybody... People will be able to feel that. And when they read their, your stuff, they will be able to see that excitement as well. Okay? And yes, this is kind of like salesmanship and all that shit. But at the end of the day, if you think your stuff is great, your stuff will be great. Okay? And you don't need to read a shit ton of books to do it. You need to write more. And so if reading is getting in the way of your creating ditch the reading that's all i'm gonna say about it hate mail could be left in the comments <laughs> oh man i didn't even think that this was gonna like go like that but now that the video is done people are gonna be upset so again make sure you go over to indiegogo hit your mom up let her know how much you love her and um type hard everybody and i will talk to you all later I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.